Hello everyone, welcome to Joystick Lab. In this tutorial, we are going to draw both continuous and multiple or discrete lines using line renderer. This is going to be the continuation of our AR major app tutorial series, but you can obviously apply this knowledge in many other places of your game development journey. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for future updates. Now let's get started. All right, so this is where we left off last time. We have a line renderer that we are basically updating every time, and we're just setting a new position into the line renderer with the point that we are spawning um, using the AR uh, object placement events, right? So now, if we want to um, make those lines discrete or if we want to draw multiple line, we cannot update the same line renderer. We need to create new line renderer every time we have a new line, right? So for that, I am going to introduce a new variable. I'm going to name it uh, point count. So this is going to count how many points we have drawn. And uh, that way we will know that when we should create a new line or if we are still working with the previous line. All right, so in the draw line uh, method, uh, before we were just increasing the po uh, point, uh, sorry, position count of the line renderer. Now we are going to uh, do something else. We are basically going to do the point count plus plus, right? And also we are going to check if the uh, point count is less than two, we are going to um, create a new line. Now to create a new line, we also need to store it somewhere. So I'm going to create a new global variable here. That is going to be the line renderer. I'm going to name it line. And uh, we need to uh, do, first of all, um, instantiate the line using the instantiate method. Right, so we are going to instantiate this line renderer, this game object, and we are going to make the position count to one because this is the first point that we are placing, right? And if the point is not uh, less than two, that means we have got uh, two lines or two points already. So we need to basically make sure that the point count is now zero. So, uh, and also we need to make sure that the line's uh, position count is basically the point count. Now, also where we actually use a line renderer previously, we are going to change all of them with this new variable line, right? So I'm just going to do that quickly. And then because we are assigning the point count in here, we don't need this line, so we can get rid of that. We can also get rid of this comment section. Now, this code is always going to give us uh, now discrete lines, right? Because every time we are creating a new line and we are setting the point count to zero when we have more than or equal to two, line, uh, two points. So uh, we want both, we want both the continuous line and also the discrete or multiple lines. So to do that, I'm going to create a Boolean value here. Um, this is going to determine that if the line is going to be continuous or not. And in here, I'm going to check that if the line is not continuous, then we can just do point, cloud, point count equal zero. Now in Unity, we can now create a prefab from this line and I'm going to drag and drop this in my prefab folder and we can get rid of this. And in the line manager, we are going to now drag and drop this uh, prefab, the line renderer prefab uh, from the prefab that we just created. And um, by default, we are going to keep this line manager uh, continuous like the line render should be continuous by default now let's create a new button that is going to help us to toggle between the discrete and the continuous line so i'm going to 
put this button in the uh, center and the bottom of the screen by holding shift and alt you can actually select one of this preset so i'm going to select the bottom center preset from here and uh, i am going to change the text to discrete all right now save your scene and let's go back to our code editor now in here we are going to create a new method that is going to help us to toggle between the discrete and the continuous line and this is just going to toggle this boolean value uh, from its previous state so if it was true in the previous state now it's going to be false and vice versa also we are going to need a reference to our text mesh pro object that is inside the button because the idea is that whenever we have a discrete uh, line then it should change to continuous and vice versa right so the user can select between the discrete and the continuous lines all right so let's create a variable to hold the text mesh pro game object and uh, in here if we see that the line is continuous we're going to change the button text to discrete and then if it's discrete we're going to change it to continuous okay let's save this now add this on click event listener and we are going to basically select the object which has a line manager script and we're going to select the method to toggle between the discrete and the continuous line also in the line manager we need to make sure that the text mesh pro uh, game object is assigned also i think i made a mistake it should be continuous by default in here because by default that um, the state is discrete so if we want to change it it should be you know like continuous so yeah so let's build this project and let's try this out in our mobile phone all right guys so now we can draw continuous line and discrete line both so this is discrete lines and if i click this continuous button um, we can draw continuous lines as well now one problem that you might notice here is that um, this button it also uh, triggers as a input in the ground so we're going to fix that uh, later on but yeah we can now draw continuous and discrete line both of it so thanks for watching the video if you like the video consider subscribing and hit the notification bell also uh, share the video with your friends for supporting the channel and i'll see you in the next tutorial